in the bottle, popper in my hand. If you wanna be my woman, you gotta leave that out of mine. about the Maya Moe ukuleles I own, both tenor models. And here's the other one. There's plenty of videos with this one. And maybe it's interesting to talk a little bit about uh, the changes they have made and how they developed into, I think, well, a very unique instrument. Uh, the other one, which has, uh, is in, made in mango wood, is serial number 99. And this one is serial number 1792. So there's almost 1700 ukuleles made between those two. And I think they developed uh, into an even, even better, from a very good product to an even better product. So let's, let's start at the top. They still have the characteristic uh, headstock, I should say logo although there's nowhere Maya Moe to be seen on the instrument. But thanks to the, let's say, the checkerboard uh, design, uh, the ukulele is immediately uh, recognizable from a distance even. And I think that's uh, commercially uh, a stroke of genius, <laughs> if you can let your interest, instrument be recognizable from a distance. But the headstock compared to the old one has become uh, slightly smaller also slightly uh, curved on the top. The, this one is really straight and also thinner. I don't know if you can really see that, but it's thinner. And also, of course, the tuners. For a tenor, I didn't know. I don't think, don't think they had this kind of tuners already then. And the difference is the weight. You see, this ukulele, it stays where it should be. And I'm going to just show you the other one. It is much more top heavier. It just drops like that because of the heavier tuners and maybe also the uh, heavier headstock. So I think that's an improvement uh, for the better. So then of course the fretboard is, uh, hasn't changed, it's still in ebony, which I think is the best material uh, to do a fretboard. The fretwork is immaculate, it's unbelievable. The action is really low, and this action is even higher than, than what they use standard would fit, because uh, uh, Gordon, the owner and builder, asks you, uh, he does the final setup, asks you what kind of style you play, and I play rather forcefully, coming from the guitar. And uh, so, uh, and I have also heavier strings on this one. These are uh, Aquila Super Nile Good, the new ones, and I really like those. They're really smooth and stay in tune very fast. And they are heavier than the word fluo carbon strings that they usually fit on their instruments. So you have a choice there. You can say, I want this or that string. So you had to raise the action slightly uh, to ac accommodate my style of playing. And it's still very, very low and very easy playable. Um, also the fret work, if you go like this, you don't feel the frets scratching your fingers. Uh, it's really, really well done. Then, of course, standard, the, the strap uh, buttons, which I think are a nice touch. You don't see that often in uh, standard uh, ukuleles. And also the fretboard is radiused. That's also something you don't see often uh, with ukuleles. And it also affects playability in the, in the better sense, of course. 
then the the bridge is also redesigned the old one is really straight up and the new bridge has a slight curve to it which I think is aesthetically uh, beautiful also the um, last point of uh, difference I think is uh, the finish the older ones have a water-based gloss finish and all the new ones have a oil hand wrapped finish which has a matte effect it gets a little, well it has to be you have to get used to it of course but I understand for environmental reasons and also health issues it's very uh, hard to uh, maintain that uh, that gloss finish uh, you can still mm -hmm. get it but it's I think $400 uh, extra to uh, the normal uh, price this is a stock instrument so they have a very long waiting list uh, I believe there are about four, 500 people on the waiting list so uh, you should ch check their website it's, it's a very uh, informative and amusing even website they also have a, which I think is really unique uh, a sort of grading of, of woods um, like this wood is uh, quilted maple who <laughs> really talk about a quilting even with, with a gloss finish I think it would be even more spectacular anyway it, uh, you don't see that much to the back of your instrument but it's, it's nice to have and um, maple is a very bright sounding wood so that's on the scale like that and the other one mango is really warm has a warm sound and there's a real difference in sound between the two ukuleles this one is much more well brighter although the port offered uh, cedar uh, top tones that a bit down but it's still very bright and I really like it so I think those are the main points of uh, the Mayamoe ukulele so I think I'm gonna play some more music that's why that's why I got it yeah I said this is a stock instrument uh, now and then they uh, make uh, instruments uh, which are for sale just like that and uh, there's a special s section on their website that uh, informs you of that so if you're interested in one uh, then do like me and you see it then you are <laughs> you're sold on the spot uh, it's so easy to buy over the internet it's just a few clicks and with PayPal it's yours okay uh, I'm gonna play some blues songs because that's what I do on the ukulele finger picking blues I'm going to play some short snippets of songs and the first one you also already heard that was uh, Blues in the Bottle, also blues classic. I think Lightning Hopkins did a version and some other players as well. And uh, I'll do a few other songs and uh, short pieces. And all those songs will be part of my third finger picking blues ukulele ebook, which consists of the tablature, of course, and also lesson videos. And if you're interested in the, this kind of playing, I still have two other ebooks, the first and the second one, they are still available. And just check the video description below, there will be links to that. And they're really, well, it's a, lo a lot of material for little money. Uh, it's only seven and a half euro for six songs with tap and video uh, lessons, and seven and a half euro, well, I'm European, you guessed. And seven and a half euro, that's about $8.50, I think so. So well, let's do some uh, Mississippi John Hurt uh, Eight Note Talons, also known as Palette on Your Floor.
Well, uh, how about some Blind Lemon Jefferson Bad Luck Blues? <laughs> song by Mississippi John Hearn, Got the Blues. from the internet here on YouTube I think it's called uh, Ute Blues but it's by um, 
Ah, I forgot his name. Pop, 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 and something else. Well, I'll tell you later. Thank you.